Hi everyone, this is John from 1320 Electronics. This is a demo video of our new app OptiScan. This app connects via Bluetooth to our OptiSpark monitor. With the OptiSpark monitor connected to your car and this app, you can uh, definitively diagnose a faulty OptiSpark sensor. So I'm going to go ahead start the application. As you can see it's called OptiScan, OptiScan tool. You can download it from Google Play. Click on the app. The app supports three modes. Those modes are uh, cylinder event status, OptiSpark signal state, and OptiSpark logic analyzer. The first mode that I want to demonstrate is the signal status, the signal state. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Next I'm going to select our OptiSpark monitor adapter, that's HC05. In this mode the state of the power, low resolution and high resolution signals are displayed as radio buttons. And these radio buttons are updated every one millisecond. So I'm going to go ahead and start the interface. I hit the start stop button and as you can see from the status it's communicating and you can see the power low resolution and high resolution signals toggling. Um, currently the OptiSpark monitors just took to a test bench uh, device to make a, so we can test the units out. Uh, typically in a real real world situation you do not want to see your power uh, toggling it should light up solid and you should see the low resolution and high resolution signals uh, flickering I'm going to go ahead and start it and stop it exit out from that mode the next mode I want to show you is the logic analyzer mode Click on Logic Analyzer. Again, we select our OptiSpark monitor. Again, I'm going to hit the Start Stop button. This mode uh, visually is the most interesting mode to use. It allows you the ability to see the waveforms of the high and low resolution signals. The high resolution is on the top of the screen and the low resolution is on the bottom of the screen. There is also a slider that you can use to change the sample speed. You want to leave the slider on the fastest uh, speed all the way to the left if you're looking at the high resolution signal. Uh, that way you get as many samples as possible. But if you want to look at the low resolution signal, you go ahead and you can slide and slow down the sample rate. And when you do that, you'll start seeing more pulses on the low resolution signal. Each one of those uh, pulses on the low resolution signal is an indicator to the ECM to fire a particular cylinder. Those pulses vary in width and that allows the ECM to know which uh, particular cylinder is firing. The ECM counts how many high resolution pulses occur within the uh, time period of the low resolution pulse to determine which cylinder is firing. When you slide the sample speed down lower uh, you may risk aliasing uh, digital aliasing in the high resolution so that's why if you ever want to look at the high resolution always make sure you have it set to the highest sample uh, rate possible all the way to the left. Again I'm going to go ahead and stop this exit. The final mode I want to demonstrate is the cylinder event status mode. So I'm going to go ahead and select it Again, you select your OptiSpark monitor Bluetooth device. 
and then finally you hit the start stop button to go ahead and uh, start communication visually this mode isn't very exciting uh, but for intermittent ignition issues this mode is going to be the most useful to the end user so what's going on right now is it's communicating with the uh, OptiSpark device and it is counting the pulses for every low resolution event and every low resolution cylinder event it should end up with 90 pulses if it gets a reading other than 90 it will increase the error count by one the ECM relies heavily on the high resolution signal for firing the cylinders uh, if the high resolution counts off the uh, it makes the ECM act in strange ways and uh, typically causes a misfire furthermore if you use the save data function you can later review it the data to see how the uh, count deviated from 90 I'm going to go ahead and stop it temporarily and show you how that works. There is a checkbox in the le upper left hand corner. You click that for save data. And again, you can hit the start stop button. And it starts communicating with the OptiSpark monitor. And it, every cycle of the low resolution signal, uh, which uh, is, indicates a uh, cylinder firing, it looks for 90. Uh, cycles of the high resolution signal so it logs those into a log file on the phone that you can later look at in Excel and determine how bad the OptiSpark sensor, optical sensor is working again when you're done hit the stop button and exit to the main menu and then when you're finally done using it you can just hit the exit button and get out of the application that's basically it for this application if you have any questions uh, feel free to call us or email us and we'll uh, try to answer your questions the best that we can and thanks for watching